as I say, we, we do a lot of meditation and Murray actually, when he was, how old were you? 18, uh, 19? Um, decided to sign up for a, a 10 day Vipassana course. And the thing is, like, he's quiet. He can be quite quiet on stage with me, but actually he just, in real life, off stage he talks non-stop. <laughs> so it was, um, it's true, isn't it, Murray? Yeah. You rarely stop. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought, oh, I might go, might go do this. No, you won't last 10 minutes, let alone 10 days not talking. And so then I had to finish it, didn't I? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then you did a few more. Yeah. Yeah. And then after, after he'd done three of them, he persuaded me to go and do one. And, you know, I obviously had to finish it because Murray had done three by that point. So, um, yeah, it's a bit of a thing. It's actually lovely. Has anyone, has anyone sat Vipassana here? Yeah, so you know. It's really hard work. It is also the most painful thing I think I've ever done, the most pain I've been in. Um, but the most incredible thing as well. Yeah. Oh, physical and emotional, the whole, the whole lot. Yeah, extraordinary, but extraordinary everything. It's very intense um, and it's very good for you, apparently. <laughs> I know it is, it is. Well, I keep going back. Yeah, <laughs> and you're getting better, hey? Well. Very <laughs> cleansing. Yes. Cle yes, exactly. So I guess the pain depends on what was in there in the first place. What comes out is only what was in there. Um, and then at Woodford that year, I, I went to the top of the hill to meditate and then wrote this song, which is called Pouring In. Cross-legged on the floor, like so. 